Hi, it's Video Friday. I'm George Harrison, a great photographer and video on a budget. And I want to thank you for your overwhelming response with the test I did Tuesday with the road mic versus the on-camera mic. Well, today we're going to do another kind of test. We're still going to use the road mic, which you can buy, you know, between $50 and $100. I'm going to show what it's really good for. And we're going to compare it to the Broyer BYWM5, which I'm now talking on, which you now you can purchase between $50 and $100. Both of them have their own specific function, but both of them need to be in your arsenal. If you're shooting that sound and things like that, and you're doing a lot of running gunning, you might want the road mic. But when you have time to interview someone on the street or whatever, you definitely need a lav mic, so that's what we're going to compare it to. As you say, I'm presently talking on the lav mic, then I'm going to switch. The same distance, everything stays the same. I'm going to show you the difference in sound quality when we go to the Rode mic. The Rode is still a lot better than on camera mic, but when it comes to interviews, there's no way it's going to compare to a lavalier mic. As you can see, this is the Rode mic. It's a directional mic, so if I'm directly in front of the camera, it picks up pretty good, which, which means if you had to use it on the interview, because I'm exactly probably about four feet away from the camera, where you would interview some, someone, it's definitely better than the on camera mic. There's no way it compares with a lavalier mic. So you really need both of, both of them, you know, Austin, to do a good job. Now we're just shooting some light traffic on the street. How's the lav when it comes to picking up traffic noise? But how does the lav work when I'm standing behind the camera and you want to pick up traffic, but you also want to describe the traffic? Can you hear, hear the traffic in the background? But what you really want is my voice to be heard distinctly. Again, this is the lav mic shooting traffic, but we're describing the traffic. How does the lav mic work in this situation? Now I am using the road mic. You know the road mic is excellent when it comes to picking up sound, but how, would it work, how well will it work if I'm standing behind the camera and want to describe the, the traffic that I'm seeing? Again, this is the road mic and I'm standing behind the camera. This is the road mic. And I'm now, as you can see, in front of a water fountain. I'm approximately it pretty much maybe three and a half feet, four feet away from the camera. How does it pick up? I know this mic is designed to pick up ambient noise, which is probably doing fine, but when it's also a direction mic. In a pinch, how would it do in an interview if I had to interview someone in front of a water fountain? Why would I interview somebody in front of a water fountain? You never know, but in case you do, how does this mic compare? Now, this is the lavalier mic in front of the same water fountain. Is the sound vastly superior? Well, it should be. That's what the loud mic is designed for. To interview someone, there's a lot of mat sound in the background. It cuts down a lot and just gets their voice. The purpose of this test is not to put the road mic down, but also let you know you need both mics in your bag. One when you're running and gunning, and you have to do that interview off the stick mic on the camera. But, but if you do have the op option to purchase a loud mic, make sure you get one, because it was nothing beat Pin a mic on someone, if you're in a noise environment, you get that sound. So yes, this is not necessarily comparing apples to apples or oranges to oranges. It's like we're comparing porcupines to skunks. They're two different type mics, but each one is excellent if you use it for what it's designed for. So you really need two mics in your bag, a stick mic and a lav mic. Now for this final test, I am walking and talking. And this is the road mic. Yes, the road mic is excellent when it comes to picking up ambient noises of your surroundings. But again, it's designed for that sound to be coming from the front. And I'm presently walking, of course, I'm behind the camera. So how does it work when you're actually walking behind the camera, picking up sound and talking? Now, this is the live mic. This is the live mic. Again, the purpose of this is to see how it works when you're walking and talking with the camera. Yes, the road mic is excellent for picking up ambient noise, but if you plan on walking and talking with a mic and describing what you see, then you definitely need a live mic. Well, what do you think? Are you convinced now that you need, there's a place for two mics in your bag? Yes, both mics can do an excellent job if you have to do net sound and interviews, but it's ideally, it would be best to have two. And if I had my choice, I would probably go with the lav mic where I could pick up net sound, then if I need an interview, I could still get an interview. It would be a lot cleaner than with the road mic. Yes, the road mic might give me better net sound, but when it comes to those all important interviews, you're going to need the lav mic. So if you had to pick between the two, personally, I'm going with the lav mic. 
So I want to thank you, as always, for coming along with me on this photographic journey. If you're watching this on YouTube, go down to the right-hand corner. Don't forget to subscribe icon. And also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And if you're looking for someone to collaborate with, well, we get together and shoot. You know, I shoot your stand-ups, you shoot mine. It'll probably make it a lot easier and faster for both of us. You know, leave me a uh, message on Facebook or YouTube. And I will see you Tuesday. Correction. Yeah, it will be Tuesday because tomorrow's Friday. Yes, I will see you Tuesday.